everyone has a fucking place uh, or a role that they play okay to their own my role is i take your money and buy a big fat fucking house and tell you to fuck off that's my role that's my role in the oh community. my god he's giving the evil super villain rich super villain in a dystopian future speech Every, everybody has a role sitch okay everybody he's plays giving their role the speech that Zog gives in Fifth Element when he talks about destroying oh the universe. Oh my God, you're right. It is. Look at all. Everyone, but wait, but wait. Zog. Everyone has a role. <laughs> you understand? Everyone has a role. Some people like me are in charge of leading, and some people are in charge of cleaning up. And you know, and people they you know they have to fulfill their Dude, roles. Don't you not, understand? You're not remembering the best part of Zog's speech when he breaks the thing. He, Zog literally knocks something off of his. Uh, counter yes. that breaks and a lot all these things come out he, and he says look at all this economic activity <laughs> he look breaks at, a glass and look all at little all robots this. come out to clean up the glass and he says see i'm creating jobs i'm creating jobs i'm the job creator look at all this economic activity i'm creating yes. so we got we got general uh zog hassan over here who's all like you know my role is just to sit in a computer chair all day and say you should be socialist and to get lots of money from that. And mm -hmm. that's all my role in life is, you know. Yeah. I can then turn around and be a capitalist asshole in my real life, but Yeah, how do you how do you implement the things that you're advocating for? I guess that's what where people are at. People are Well, like someone thinking, else can do that. Yeah. That's I, hard. Okay. Well, it's the... hard to implement things, okay, Adam. It's easy to sit on your chair and stare mm. at a computer screen and say capitalism bad yeah well it that's is easy you're catering to people's hatred of working at dumb jobs and not being able to get ahead not being paid enough by pitching them an idea of something that's going to make their lives better but you're like hassan has no hassan is basically saying that's not my problem <laughs> like I'm I'm here to <laughs> complain about how things suck. I'm not here to yes. theorize on how we can fix them or even even I mean even advocate for people who could Guys, potentially fix them. My job mm -hmm. is a complainer, okay? But that's all my job is. Yeah. You can't be mad that I go around and then do the things that I'm complaining about cuz my job is only to complain about them. It's not to actually do anything about them come on man that documentary is sounding more and more interesting <laughs> to me i really i'm really i want to get at what these people are really after what these people right. think that they're paying for what these people imagine that they're paying for aren't you curious i mean no, it seems like when you're if the, you're giving contrapoints money you're getting mm -hmm. high-end premium content it seems like you're, you, I can understand that you're kind of buying into, you're being a part of this cultural phenomenon that is contrapoints. That makes sense to me. You're you're literally you're in the role of like an artistic benefactor. Right. I right. mean, it's sort of the same thing with our comic. I mean, you're supporting our comic. You know, we're trying to develop something unique and interesting, something that has a bunch of jokes that we've all participated in. You're you're literally like a producer. What? What is the role of a Hassan? <laughs> what happens with Hassan? I know what it is. It's to be a complainer. To say that capitalism bad. I'm going to say that cap this is what it is. It's it's this it's actually perfect when I think about mm -hmm. it. It's to say capitalism is bad, but I don't want to actually do anything about it. I just want to blame capitalism and the oppression of other power systems for why I, you know, not succeeding. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. He's just articulating their disappointment with how society is against them. Well, he no, he's articulating the excuse that they can give for why they're not succeeding in life. Oh, to other people, and that's valuable. Yes, right. Of course it is. I don't know. Some and of these, some of these uh, responses in his chat make me think that the people actually believe he's going to advocate for them at some point. 
<laughs> I, I mean, it does. It, After he says everyone has a role in life, my role is to be the funny comedy man that tells you capitalism bad. I don't know if they could maintain that. Is that, that what position. he says? We kind of cut him off in the middle yeah. here. Let's let him finish. What do you say? So, like, what I don't understand is everyone has a fucking place uh, or a role that they play, okay? To their own skills. <laughs> and, like, Produce I don't, I don't understand why, like, anarchists market. so regularly end up getting into that same American hyper individual. It, it, it's funny too, because you understand that the socialist mm -hmm. who's advocating for co-ops. No, I, I know exactly where you're going. I, I okay. didn't pause it, but I was thinking, uh, so you're basically advocating for the division of labor. <laughs> it's like Adam Smith just walked into the room, boys and girls. <laughs> Hassan Piker walked out to go get some tendies, and Adam Smith just walked in. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, continue. Good uh, sir. Yes. Tell it, us about the division of labor and why every person can't do every job. Yeah, no. I, wow, Hassan. Wow. Yeah. You just basically pissed all over your co-op idea, but okay. <laughs> continue. We're Holistic listening. Mindset, like, every experience has to be transactional, Okay. And the only way that you can save people is by like giving them cash directly. And that like the only way that you can fucking ever help people is by setting up, just dropping everything else that you're doing. Okay. Dropping everything else that you're doing and setting up and, and focusing on just becoming a 501 C3 or building a fucking mutual aid organization. So here's your life lesson guys. Mm -hmm. If you're ever in an argument or a disagreement with someone and every time you try to talk to them, and you try to say something like nuanced or realistic and they just twist everything you're saying into these like extreme hyperbolic examples you're saying i have to drop everything i'm doing I know. to start a co-op yeah. you're saying i have to give up all my money if you ever know anyone like that you mm. should probably cut them out of your life yeah because Ghost that is a that motherfucker that is a bad person that is a user abuser manipulator tactic just yep. get out of there narcissist Yes. Yeah. Organization. What do you want me to do, man? I'm a fucking Twitch streamer, okay? I'm not going to do that. Rats on the new place. I know people that do that. <laughs> okay? And I help them out. I have black friends. I know. I was going to say. Yeah, I don't necessarily know how to to do a lot of things. I mean, that's the whole idea behind being a producer. You organize people to do it. Like you said, like you, like you basically said, like you and Adam Smith said, division of labor, right? You, you organize people. That's what people, mm -hmm. you know, that's how people change the world. Well, that's why capitalism saying, is great. Him saying he knows people that does that is even worse. Cause it's like, Oh, so you have an in. You yes, already could like know. have them set up whatever you want. You just be like the angel investor. Totally. The communist angel investor or whatever. Yeah. But no. Oh, I'm sure there's a bunch of people. The guy I that's... I need my big house on West Hollywood. Woo. Yeah. Well, he doesn't. He's not. Like I said, he's hoarding. He doesn't. He's low risk. He doesn't want to take a lot of risk with his money. I and see. starting a, a co-op or, or a business... Hey, businesses are just as, well, not just as much risk as a co-op. Let's not go crazy here. But businesses are risky. It's a it's a high-risk endeavor, yeah. But he shouldn't care because if you're a socialist and you're a millionaire, you should feel bad about being a millionaire. I mean, he just lucked into all the money that he's got, basically. Right. Yeah. It, like, this is, this is... Unironically, the same kind of fucking attitude that like, sub to maintain your like this is the same attitude that anarcho capitalists have, dude, which is oxymoronic in and of itself. And it's so fucking weird because it's like, Imagine having a roof over like you're literally you're resorting to charity. Like, That's what you're saying. Budget. The only way, the only way to fucking, uh, you know, to, to save people is by resorting to individual charity. You know, you know who else says that? Bastard, man. Rich people oh, say God. that, dude. It's not my problem. I, I, I donate to charity. Shut the fuck up. And it's inherently a Republican talking point. So I don't know why people fucking adopt. See, guys, donating to charity is what rich people do. And I, buying my million dollar, multi-million dollar house in West Hollywood, 
don't want to be a rich person, so I'm yeah. not going to donate to charity. Yeah. Evil, evil rich people who <laughs> live all around me. Yes. Down like my neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Down the street. All my evil neighbors. Yeah. Yes. I'm curious did, about the neighborhood. Yeah. I mean, did he buy the most expensive house in the neighborhood or the cheapest house in the no, neighborhood? That's a good yeah. question. I don't know. Also, adopt enough. the aesthetics of left uh, leftist. Okay. And that's precisely what this is. Your fucking understanding of the world and systemic issues. You keep saying they're anarchists, but the majority of them are actual Marxist Leninists. I mean, this is an anarchist uh, ANCOM. But yeah, there are Marxist Leninists who are saying dumb shit too. As he for sure. Here is the problem for a lot of these people, okay? A lot of you. Your understanding of the world is incredibly fucking shallow. I'm sorry. That's Socialism just the truth. Is when no place to live smile. Your understanding of the world is incredibly shallow. You, you, hold on. But you're the one that's exploiting that incredibly shallow understanding yes. of the world. Yes. On, which is what is completely Evil. repugnant. Yes. Yes. You know how people get mad about televangelists bilking little old ladies out of their mm -hmm. social security money? Yep. You're doing the same thing with fucking high school kids' lunch money. <laughs> like, you're no better. You're literally no better. Yep. That's 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 the perfect uh, analogy. Yes. The, he's not the preacher stealing money or or grifting money out of the little old ladies he's grifting money out of the kids uh high school kids lunch money yeah oh. the guy who's having trouble affording his first house who's ha who you know wants a girlfriend but doesn't have a good enough job to get it you're fucking bilking money out of that guy yep that's disgusting that's totally yeah. disgusting and not only that when he calls you on your shit now you're pissing in his face suck my dick yeah it's fucking god Hassan. <laughs> like, yeah. He's a total evil piece of shit. Grow, grow some ethics. <laughs> it's a little late for that. Start thinking about what people actually <laughs> like. Why are, why are people turning to you? The guy said it himself. Listen, he lives in Bakersfield. And it's tough to find an affordable apartment. Yep. Jesus Christ. He's giving you money. <laughs> what do you think he's giving you money for? So maybe one day it'll be affordable to actually find an apartment in yeah. Bakersfield. He's giving you money because he's operating under the delusion that you're actually going to help the system change. Yes, there you go. Exactly. And here you are yeah. saying, oh, I'm not responsible for changing the system. I'm just here to uh, put on my comedy show. Yeah, it's Whoops. It totally. Jeez. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. I guess a sucker's born every minute, right? Yep. Yep.